So what's going on? So this one's going to be about Paul George playing for the Oklahoma City Thunder last night, and he came back and beat the Lakers, and <clears throat> L.A. fans were booing him. And they booed him because the what if he had played with LeBron James and the what if possibility. And Paul George is taking him a while to marinate because I've said this about him before. To me, he's a low first tier, high second tier player. I mean, he's a great sidekick. One of those guys, I'll say this, slightly more skilled version of Allen Houston. But, you know, Allen Houston was more clutch. Let's be real. Remember that shot Allen Houston said to say when he with the Knicks and he hit over Miami and he he was really something with Latrell Sprewell and he go with Grand Hill, but he was not a first tier guy. When he first signed with the Knicks, he got exposed for that. But as a sidekick, you know, you got those guys, like Scottie Pippen, who's probably arguably the best sidekick player ever, or Clay Thompson. You got those guys, <clears throat> they high, high, and they low first, high, high second. And when you were like doing individualized, they're very. They're like on that level, and they can go off, but they don't necessarily take over games or they don't have that kind of it. But anyway, Paul George didn't want to go to Lakers, and I think playing with LeBron James was like a no, 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 no. I think he would have gone and it have been a different package. Mm-hmm. Just don't think he goes there with him, but he would have been a better compliment for LeBron and style-wise to feed off and of what he did. And he looked very good last night. You know, neither that was a lackluster game. Let's just be realistic. Because, you know, Lakers aren't really that good. Even when LeBron's there, they, they, they've they had some moments. Probably Golden State game, they played out their minds, and they had a couple other games. But they're not really. They're missing a couple pieces. Not only just another star, but they need a couple bench cats. They need some defense, free throw, shooting, free point. But Paul George would have been kind of like that guy that kind of filled it up. And he... Russell stunk it up last night. No, he had a triple double. And OKC has a tendency to kind of make games a little bit closer. They don't always get that proper rotation. And I don't feel that they use Steven Adams' his talents and depth near enough. Because that's a 20 and 10, 20 and 15 guy. Maybe even throwing three or four dimes and a couple blocks and a couple steals. Because Steven Adams is the kind of modern day center that I'm telling you. He should be utilized even more. But Paul George, uh, yeah, he got booed in L.A. The fans are still tummy hurt because he wasn't signed. He did what he was an L.A. kid, and he always idolized Kobe and want to go back. But this is very telling, and, I, and, and I'm not surprised that he chose Russell over LeBron because LeBron ain't always easy for everybody's skill set, and it shows. So, um, But it cracks me up how Laker fans still. They, they took that personal last night, but, you know, you can't get over it because, you know, he – then you're gonna try to go get Anthony Davis, but it was a um, it was a good game for him, and I know it might not matter as much in January, but I do think Paul George is actually starting to, you know, he's starting to feel his feet up under him, and he's playing good ball. He's playing good ball. He's he would be almost an MVP consideration, um, you know. I I, I don't think he's quite has the magnitude of what James Harden has done. No, but I would say he's definitely in consideration. So. That's my take on Paul George coming back uh, to Los Angeles last night. He got booed because he didn't sign a free agency, and the L.A. fans let him have it, but he still scored 37 points. So you do what you got to do. That's my take. Have a good day. I'm out. Peace.